and and on youtube so you can start asking questions if there are no questions i'll start some kid discussions yes yeah good afternoon dr navjot dr avni on instagram good afternoon to harshal dr sharan so let us start some some of very interesting uh, case i solved here today dr navjot yeah is live on both dr belwalkar there was a, a fantastic case you know uh, we took the whole history of the case and we could not get the remedy of the patient right and we came to know in his case that the patient basically had done lot of uh, what you call uh, cases and lot of litigations and lot of uh, complaints on m- lot many of time in his life about 10 to 15 cases going on going on since he was in his profession and after some t- after and we came to know the patient was very quarrelsome you know very qu- everything started a fight so there was a very interesting rubric yeah dr babal welcome there's a very interesting rubric you know quarrelsome and litigious so we added that rubric quarrelsome and litigious and surprisingly if you go to see you know we came to the remedy causticum and with the i think about two doses of causticum at the interval of uh, one month we could solve the problem of prostate of the patient the patient was suffering from prostate of megaly with residual urine and that is how we came that is how the, there is importance of this rubrics you know quarrelsome there are so many remedies for quarrelsome but add to a sub rubric that is litigious and then we gave the patient causticum and it gave a fantastic result within 2 months we had been prescribing him the remedy for 3 or 4 months with no with minor changes but with causticum we could cure the case so this is the important basically of uh, getting the rubrics right you know if you see the rubric quarrelsome and litigious there are remedies like causticum or arsenic uh, platina lachesis causticum is also there so this is very very important to understand okay i'll take the questions first then we'll come to the the case good afternoon dr meera dr harshal dr ravni dr sajdev dr so the question delayed talking in a child of 3 years explains things with gestures has started going to school and he snatches whatever he wants mother's history uh, mother's pregnancy history she was alone in the house for 7 years mother no one talk to see uh, the age of 3 years and delayed talking uh, do not uh, if it is very very pronounced you know then only take the rubric otherwise wait for some time i feel there are uh, there are or take a generalized rubric dr sasdeva we can say take the rubric uh, delayed milestones or uh, milestones delayed and then you can basically go to uh, go to that rubric and answer but for 3 years just wait for some time and i think the patient should if there is any uh, primary cause for not speaking then it's okay causticum dr i said i gave him 200 so if there is no specific primary history of a disease don't unnecessary drug the patient now you are telling that in pregnancy mother was only alone in the house for 7 months and she had nobody to talk she felt very lonely okay you can take that uh, lonely feeling and then you can also prescribe the remedy but still if the case was with me just wait for some time you know just uh, give placebo or acute symptoms you can uh, treat but wait for some time the child will speak but in if you feel that the remedy should be given then there there are, there are three four remedies which come very very clearly in this case first you must think about phosphorus then think about lycopodium think about arsenic or think about mercsol these are the four remedies which have normally given me good results okay yeah dr meera your three cases i will whatsapp you today the remedies because i just didn't get time i was busy for this this whole week so i'll get to the remedy for three cases dr meera uh, today evening only yeah so an interesting question by dr vishaka dyslipidemia precedes in almost all cases of diabetes yeah so see what happens uh, i was just talking to you ki uh, plain cases of hyperlipidemia where i have taken this rubric it is not a law but maximum results i have found using this rubric now in your case dyslipidemia with diabetes mellitus so what happens in dyslipidemia the triglycerides keeps on increasing 
So in sugar, if the patient is diabetic, the Tg goes very high. The Tg starts increasing. That's a sign where the patient basically is suffering from uh, or uh, pre-diabetic condition. So if you have both the condition, uh, the hyperlipidemia and diabetes together, then the whole case scenario changes. But if you're only treating cases of hyperlipidemia or dyslipidemia, then you can take the Subri grief silent. In most of the cases, I have got results. It's not a law, but I've seen in my practice, most of the cases I have got good results and Still, if you feel that uh, there is uh, uh, there is something uh, which you feel uh, you should add in this rubric, make sure that you take a case where the patient has long lasting anxiety or long lasting history of grief and sorrow. In that case, also the patient lands up in lot of increased cholesterol. And if diabetes is added uh, with that, that means the disease is progressing. It's a disease is progressing. That's a uh, what you call a lifestyle disorder. Disease is progressing. In that case, the whole case taking scenario changes and then you have to understand why the patient is suffering from these disorders. In diabetes, I have got fantastic results uh, uh, in my OPD. A lot of the juniors have attended my OPD and they have seen the results live. Uh, though I have not uh, been able to justify exactly what they uh, do look in diabetes, but in near future, maybe six months to a year times, I will be able to tell you exactly what to look for that. But if you have both diabetes and blood pressure, then I would say take the whole case rather than concentrating only on one rubric. These are only my clinical uh, what you call assessment, what I have done in my practice and that's why I'm sharing it with you. It is not a law. Okay. Yeah. Welcome Dr. Palak. Dr. Amulya Padde. Welcome. Uh, one of my sons started speaking with three years until he would speak only five words. Then he could speak continuous sentence. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I told Dr. Barbel. Uh, uh, basically what happens uh, here, yeah, Dr. Alexander, welcome. Good morning. That's why Dr. Kent has said no. I, uh, in one of the lesser writings has written, it is always sensible to give placebo rather than prescribing a wrong drug. That's why I, in this case, uh, if I'm very sure that the history of loneliness is there and the development is arrested, especially talking, then I would proceed with the case. Otherwise, acute symptoms or just counseling and giving placebo also can give you good results. This is told by Dr. Kent in his lesser writings. Good evening, Dr. Amul uh, Amulia. Amulia, yeah. Good morning, Dr. Alexander. I hope Dr. Vishaka, you got the answer. And uh, in future, I'll tell you, I'll give you some cases of hyperlipidemia, which I have cured with using this uh, rubric and very good results and very fast results. Uh, believe me that this is basically what I have seen in practice. I'm sharing. It's not a law. Uh, now, elements from being alone, no? Elements from being alone, definitely there's a rubric. But see, in India, uh, we have patients where the husband is working outside or he has job outside and the lady basically is in the house alone. There are a lot many of cases. If you have to use that rubric in your practice, make sure that that rubric basically or that symptom basically is so much engraved in the patient's heart and mind that it that feeling alone basically becomes the whole defining feature of the patient during that pregnancy. That is very important. Then take that rubric because if you take that rubric, then everything else is you have taken uh, this, uh, you have omitted. So be very sure in, in selecting the rubric. No, that's why I always say when we start our practice, we have about 10 to 15 rubrics. Then as you grow in your practice after 10, 15 years, 20 years, you hardly take any two or three rubrics. So you also travel from Sora to syphilis in summarizing the symptoms and getting the rubrics right you know and there is a question sir th there is uh, sir is there remedy to postpone menses is hemolysis works in this condition uh, see dr amulya uh, basically what happens as we have taught as we have been taught in the organ of medicine dr henneman uh, that it is nature nature's law you know nature's law of cure so in nature uh, you cannot stop the menses that is against the nature so uh, you can't do that. In fact, if you ask me, I've never done that in my practice. Uh, so this is my answer because I've never done my practice. You can try and if you get some results, do tell me then we also can try. But uh, don't go against nature. Mm, uh, that's not homeopathy. That's what I feel. Dr. Mithali, welcome. Good afternoon, Dr. Sajdeva. We have, I think, two Dr. Sajdeva. Yeah. So Dr. Babel, uh, yes, three years. So I was talking about elements from being alone. Now, Elements from being alone, you know, there are some remedies which are very, very important. You must be, you must be knowing, but of lately, I have got very, very good results with, one of, with two remedies I'll share with you. One remedy is Zincum Metallicum and the second remedy I have got uh, good results with Gelsemium. 
uh, where I have failed with three remedies. I prescribed like I prescribed the patient arsenic, I prescribed Kalikar, I prescribed Lycopodium. It did not work. But in that case, Gelsimium worked and, and, and in one of the cases, Zingum Metallicum also worked. So this is how uh, clinically you can grow in your practice. And Dr. Rajik, welcome. Dr. Mulya, yeah, thank you. Dr. Jyoti Vaishnav, good afternoon. So uh, can you anybody tell some, some very important remedies which are very, very important from uh, matter medical point of view, elements from being alone. Whenever the patient is alone, he starts getting symptoms. He cannot stay alone. That's the basic uh, importance of that symptom. Can we have some remedies? Yes, good afternoon, Dr. Maurya. Can we have some remedies where the elements from being alone? There are so many remedies, you know. So can we have few about two remedies which I have not discussed, but still they are very important. Anybody? So, okay, I, I think there are a lot of questions to be asked. So, one question when you, yeah, Kali, Kali Kab, yes, Kali Kab is very important. Uh, you know, that's for what to look for. Yeah, uh, the one remedy is Kali Kab. Very nice. What Dr. Sajdev and Dr. Belwalkar. Now, we have a question, a very interesting question. You know, uh, when you have a neurological case, lady cannot walk because the legs do not obey the brain. But when she lies down on her back or holding to something, her legs are strong. Now, see, uh, uh, on the prima facie, if you see on prima facie, uh, if you prescribe on symptoms like uh, uh, neurology, it's, it's already a neurological case. It is not a psychotic case or a depression case or a bipolar disorder case where the patient is faking sick. This is a neurological case where there is a there is a classical disorder of the nerves, you know, and that's why there is a problem. So there is a problem in the pyramidal tract or the extra pyramidal tract. So in this case, if you take symptomatically, basically you'll be taking the symptoms of the disease because it's a classical neurological case. In this case, it is very important to understand that this case has gone or passed through a stage of fear, a stage of fear where the patient could not speak, could not talk, could not express himself. He just, uh, what you call bottled up that fear and that fear after some time has done that damage in the brain or the nerves and the result is paralytic condition of the legs. This is, I have seen in my practice, in my cases. So you can find out that cause of fear. That's how you can get it the entry into the case. Sir, can a child need no sort for serrated teeth? Please guide. Yeah, why not? Don't treat nosod as a nosod. You know, I have uh, so many times told you uh, if you open Matra Medica and if you see <coughs> uh, which remedy where it is written that treat is as a remedy, not as a nosod or as a sarcod. So this is very important to understand. You know, which remedy I was talking about? I've told you this so many times. You know, which remedy where the author has written, you know, okay, uh, it is not that nosod or a condition. It is take that as a remedy better by cold. So this is on face. I'll just come to that. Uh, uh, see, it is uh, the remedy. Basically, it is which the author tells something that treat this as a remedy and just not and consider it as basically a normal uh, remedy. That is Sorinum. If you have seen, uh, if you have seen Allen's keynote, if everybody has Allen's keynote in front of you, open Allen's keynote, uh, the remedy Sorinum. And uh, yeah, I'll get back to you, Dr. Amelia. Just I'll finish my thought first. So if you see Sorainam last line, just above the relationship, it might, it is written that Sorainam should not be given for Sora or Soric conditions, you know, but like every other remedy upon a strict individualization, the totality of symptom, that is very important whether you are taking any remedy. Now uh, your question, Dr. Amulya is uh, uh, that please guide. So, uh, Okay, in this case, it is important to understand that it is upon the strict individualization. I have never seen a specific remedy for, remedy for that. Molluscum, there are no specific symptom what we can consider. In molluscum, I told you one thing, you know, uh, there, are, there are a few remedies which are very, very commonly used. Think about Silesia, think about Thuja, think about Mercury, think about uh, Azetric Indica, think about Ishnisha. I had a wonderful case of, you know, molluscum. Where with case taking and all, I could get the remedy. I, I gave the patient silicia. Dr. Amulya listened to that. I gave the patient silicia just by inhalation. I used to tell the patient to inhale silicia 30 every week for four weeks. 
and within two months all the mollusk come went. So only by inhalation I gave the remedy a solution. Okay. Uh, school going girls become nervous and friends and friends fighting leads to suppress menses. What can we give, sir? Now uh, see this is uh, so uh, see see this is so common. You know you can just write elements from fear, elements from fright, and then suppress menses. There are lots and lots of remedies. Okay. Uh, welcome, Dr. Toshi Omiri, Dr. Almagi, Dr. Trivedi. So there are lots of remedies. I think lot of uh, lot of doctors might have these. Uh, remedies on tip of the tongue so go with that you can go to the repertory and you can say mens is suppressed and there are a lot of remedies so lot means there are a lot of remedies you can always go to the rubric or to the matter medic and see and you will get the remedies if you don't still don't get it you can always ask me yeah so there are one few questions on youtube so we have only one remedy kali carp for uh, elements from being alone remedies like lacopodium hyoscyamus arsenic conium a lot of remedies, you know. Doctor Inu asks, "Pulsatilla, psoriasis of face, bright red patch, better by cold." See, as I have told you, psoriasis of face, bright red patch, normally in psoriasis. Remember this. I always tell you here my uh, Instagram live, which I did with one of the doctors, and you will get some idea in treating psoriasis. You know. So whenever you have a case of psoriasis, I don't prescribe basically on the patches or the itching and all. I basically prescribe on the mind, you know. So if you have the mind of the patient, I'll be able to prescribe more because uh, we see just by prescribing on that red face, better by cold. You can have remedies like uh, sorainam or hiparsel for uh, these remedies, but most important symptom should be the mind symptom in psoriasis. Okay, welcome, Doctor Sultan Rakesh. Welcome. Now I was just talking about that menses suppressed. I think Dr. Amulya uh, will be needing some of the remedies. So Dr. Amulya, you can write the remedies. When the menses are suppressed because of fright or fear, think about three, four remedies which are very, very important and very, very commonly used in our practice. First is calcarea carb. First is calcarea carb. Second should be opium. Third is drastox, and fourth is pulsatilla. Commonly used. There are few remedies, but these are most more commonly used. Dr. Trivedi, fibroadenoma treatable? Yes, it is absolutely treatable and curable. A case of tiny little boy, five years old, with recurrent gastric infection, had ad adenoids last week, and three days later, with ear infection, thinking about tuberculinum. See, whenever you have recurrent gastric infection, means the gastric flora has to be changed, rec changes recurrently. Had adenoids also, so there are three remedies which are very very important in this case, considering adenoids and gastric recurrent infection. Think about carcinosin, think about tuberculinum, think about calcarea iode, and think about one more remedy which is very, very important. I have seen in gastritis with adenoids, and that is calcarea fluor. One question, sir. Tiny on gluteal region itching aggravates at night. Scratching due to itching leads to bleeding. Its obtinate fungal phase has some light on this, sir. Dr. Razik. Adenitis, sorry. So if you have adenitis, basically, then you have to uh, take out calcarea flora and add phosphorus. Uh, yes, Dr. Razik, think about uh, inflamed. Think about phosphorus then. So adenitis, uh, that is, uh, uh, think about uh, tuberculum, think about carcinosin, think about phosphorus, and one more remedy which will be very very useful with uh, in inflamed, and that is ferrum metallicum. I have seen very very wonderful result. But if the patient appears to be uh, uh, not phosphorus and around phosphorus, then you can think about ferrum phos also, who suffer from recurrent inflammation or recurrent inflammatory diseases. Uh, fungal infection right here. So whenever you have this type of case, the first remedy, Dr. Razik, should be in your repertory chart or maternal medical should be sulfur. If sulfur does not work or if the constitution of sulfur, think about three remedies which are very, very important. Second should be CP and third is Tucrea maram verum. Uh, a case of four-year-old child, no action of body by itself. It makes us sit, sits for one minute, then falls. Mental development delayed. Now, Jod six triple one. Doctor Najod, in this case, very very important. You ask the history during the fetus or uh, what was the patient's uh, uh, mother's condition at the time of pregnancy. You know, very very important because you can take the rubric initiation, lack of, and you have a lot of remedies with that. But in this case, uh, the poor child has to be taken with a totality, uh, not give it a haphazard prescription. So get the get the hereditary history and the history during pregnancy. I'll be able to give you a better remedy with this. 
sulfur uh, no it won't aggravate uh, dr rajik given lm potency 60 years old uh, malaria patient 105 restlessness thirsty muscle pain now uh, whenever you get a case of malaria you know and with muscle pain normally uh, what happens i have some remedies which are very very common uh, that is uh, we have to think about china self first second think about eupodium perfulatum and third remedy of course the the remedies if you have seen your mater medica and if you have read mater medica malaria officially also can give you good results what to expect improvement in varicose vein when the right homeopathy remedies in yeah uh, first of all the varicose vein if you ask me also very difficult to treat i have lots of cases of varicose vein with ulceration and discharges and all the ulceration goes or discharges goes but that varicose vein type you can see on the legs the first symptom which the patient will come and tell you in varicose vein is the patient comes and tells you that i had varicose vein for few years but now i don't feel that i have varicose vein if i check i can see the vein that's the first instant where you feel that the remedy is working yes dr nujat very nice i did not give the answer because see it's a very delicate case and the patient will be very dependent on dependent on your prescription because there are no other allopathic medicines for that so in this case it is so important you go to the history and you can contact me we can discuss and get to the remedies no for keloid how to approach for keloid i have told you uh, lots of times so you can go in my previous youtube live and see dr rajik if you can't get and they'll explain you okay dr babel uh, in psoriasis can we sorry macfos help so if the macfos help dr uh, dr alexandra uh, but that means you are very close to phosphorus so in this case it is very important to think about ferrum for that for that was i was thinking in um, in my practice also a lot of case of gastritis with this complaint and ferrum for has worked very well you know dr ajmera welcome can we help patients with sir yeah we can help we have patients and we have very good results also dr sajdeva dr barwal la join welcome Shall I try? For? Yes, ferrum for you must try. You must try. You put ram diya tha fifth day, but muscle pain hai, bone pain nahi hai. See, whenever you get, see, whenever doctor, uh, doctor Pushpendra, whenever you have muscle pain, I have, I told you, I have got very good results with China self. Patient bolta, बहुत ज़्यादा muscle pain है. China self, arnica, minianthus. have very very good results when these conditions are present so you can have some symptomatic relief with these remedies because if it is given properly china self works wonderfully with chills with fever with muscle ache with body ache with malaise with loss of appetite the patient does not want to get up the patient just wants to lie down china self works very well dr trivedi says hypertension all fever serpentine half hour can we give in mother tincture yeah see uh, uh, as such with rolfe you are not getting going to cure the case normally you can give rolfe as serpentina 10 drops in half cup of water twice a day or depending on the hyper uh, the hypertensis works you can repeat it three four times it has no side effects good afternoon dr kochar and do uh, follow up with the remedy if you get the result so that we all can get benefit what with what i am telling you okay Uh, yeah i was a bit fast today because there were so many questions to be answered that's why i was a bit fast today but i hope you understood you know yes so any other some uh, some questions have been scrolled up so i don't know whether i've asked that uh, answer that question dr pushpendra singh i hope you got some answers sir and uh, do think uh, do take that in your Prescription and you will get good. Can we give Baptista Q for typhoid? You can give any medicines for any disease. You know it has to be indicated. And of course, if you uh, see Baptista is why it is written Baptista because if you have seen the throat of Baptista, it is written that throat is black in color. There is astringent taste. There is halitosis and there is diphtheric covering and all. This basically happens in case of diphtheria. In sorry, in case of typhoid. And that's why it is written in Baptista. It's a classical remedy for uh, typhoid. But why to uh, wait for such long to give Baptista? There are some remedies which can be given in the first stage, second stage. If the patient comes to you, do think about that remedy. That will give you fantastic results. Don't wait till Baptista. Of course, there is no, uh, there is um, nothing which you cannot give. Baptista would work br brilliantly. But uh, instead of that, uh, take some symptoms and then if you 
prescribe would be better because baptism mother tincher i have not given in my practice uh, previously maybe 10 15 years i used to give to get good results but it was a supportive medicines ultimately going to cure with your what you call potency i hope that sounds good dr rajesh you can give definitely now go home and read baptisha once again you know baptisha has some classical symptoms which uh, if you prescribe on those symptoms you know uh, you can cure uh, typhoid but you know uh, basically uh, it is in the advanced stage of typhoid so don't wait that that but if you if you want you can give it dr nakul welcome in suraj's patient she is a tensive married twice but failed living alone psoriasis on face okay so maybe uh, you can say that the patient uh, of psoriasis uh, basically is living in lot of stress now if you have seen the repeat trends in the rubrics you can write down some remedies dr sajdeva first you should think about cpia second you should think about lycopodium third you should think about staphesagria and fourth a very very important remedy you should think about carcinosin the patient appears very unfortunate you know that he has married once man, married twice maybe uh, with uh, no cause of her she is suffering from this problem so you can take this and there are four remedies very very important staph cpia lyco carcinosin can you please share about skukum chak are you talking about skukum chak uh, uh, i don't know the uh, i don't know the if you are t- talking about skukum chak normally you know uh, yeah uh, skukum chak you know uh, that's that's a remedy of a fantastic remedy in in uh, maybe i don't know if 20 years back we had Uh, preparation of skukum chak i think ointment we had you know now in skukum chak there are very very important symptoms and uh, see it is basically a very uh, what you call a specific remedy for skin complaints especially the patient is suffering from arthritic area it's a very important remedy arthritic area and the patient has dry skin that's an important indication of skukum chak dry skin arthritic area and if you say uh, all the affections of the skin is covered by skukum chak that is also uh, that's also basically advisable because it has written in a matter medica it has a strong affinity for skin and mucous membrane so you it dry skin and you can have any disease because of dry skin skukum chak will be indicated that's what I, and basically you know uh, i had cured a case of skukum chak i'll just i'll just tell you one case the patient was suffering from hepatitis media and the discharge from the patient's ear was very offensive so i gave some remedies it did not work and it was not working so the doctor said that you have to be put on antibiotics and when i asked the patient how is the discharge in the patient you know hindi told ke aise mare hue aadmi ke saman baas aati hai like cadaver smelling discharge and that is a discharge of skukum chak that is a discharge of skukum chak otitis media and this discharge from the ear is cadaveris smelling discharge so cooking chap 30 i prescribed two times a day for three days and the patient was cured so this is my experience and my knowledge regarding skukum chak only three four symptoms you know uh, dr pathia welcome dr fatima welcome uh, yeah skukum chak so this is my experience of skukum chak any other questions it was a marathon answering question no? there were a lot of questions today and i enjoyed it no so keep asking the questions with this speed so that i also have uh, no time to think but just to deliver it's like reflex action you know it also makes me very happy that still something is there in my gray matter and uh, what i have read i am able to share on the spot limestone uh, limestone you know if you if you ask me limestone i have not used limestone too many times in my life but limestone has a typical feature no uh, basically limestone i have prescribed only as a constitutional medicines and not as a uh, what you call um, uh, what you call specific so for me limestone basically i'll be i'll be talking about limestone generalized condition like the mind and the body but skukum chak i i remember that i have been prescribing for these type of skin affections you know limestone is basically a polycrest for me dr suyo dr saniya welcome yeah okay uh, see what happens in 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 remedy differentiation 
for example if the if the patient has to be given limestone now limestone remedy if i if i basically get a remedy where the patient basically is uh, acutely interested in conditions of seeing people and understanding people lot of memory lot of memory lot of thinking lot of thinking very close to those type of remedies but i have never seen i have never prescribed limestone in case of skin affection directly symptoms or any other symptom directly so it would be a polycrest for me or prescribing on the totality skokin chap basically was a specific remedy which i was talking dr anush sharma yeah thank you what is the best remedy for renal calculus of about 5 to cm and stuck up in the ureter uh you see i can't tell you best remedy for uh, that stone but if you sometimes feel that you are stuck up and you are not getting the symptoms there has to be some symptom in relation to pain ask the patient the type of pain you know and the type of pain will guide you to a, fend, uh, a very important remedy yeah but i know remedy but still if you feel that you are not able to differentiate the type of pain the sensation of pain the direction of pain the spreading of pain there are there are two remedies which i have found very useful and the stone is stuck up when the stone is stuck the patient is in lot of pain think about prunus spinosa think about hydrangea these remedies if you repeat it i have got very good results in these cases you know of course those are specific so don't use it barberis vulgaris is basically you know it is the most uh, i think abused remedy for stones there has to be some symptoms of barberis vulgaris you know rather than prescribing only for stones so uh, in in low potency dr disha if you have uh, what do you call if you have valent potency it's very well and good if you don't have valent potency it's either 6 or 30 in repetition that's important dr mona swami just joined dr ganor kar welcome so i hope everything was answered properly anybody you got some insight just dr mira's three cases i have to answer today i'll, I'll definitely answer dr mira so it's already half an hour up and uh, thank you everybody for joining and it was nice discuss discussing today nice speed of questions and i hope you understood what i wanted to tell you or understood something which will help you in your practice in in future so everybody thank you so much thank you for your time until then meet you on next saturday for one more youtube live thank you so much